All right, everybody, it is time for our winner's finals between two of the biggest names in the business, Snipe and Hebimoto. JB, I think this, these are players you should, even you should be very familiar with. Maybe there have been a lot of new names tonight, but these should be no strangers to you. Hibimoto is a well-known name to me. Uh, just a record holder, I believe, at one point in in some speed runs and snipes a world champion versus players. So, uh, two well-known players. If you've if you've been familiar with the community for a while, mm -hmm. really, really looking forward to this one. Yep, and snipe making top eight in last year's Columbus Championships at Torg. But uh, I have to say, if you've been tracking his progress since then. Uh, he has been going on a meteoric rise. If you thought he played well in Columbus last year, uh, that is nothing compared to the player that he has become today. He's been able to rival the likes of Hibimoto, maybe even surpass him. And uh, these two play some really close sets. We've seen it before, and we're, I think we're going to see it again. And if tonight, the way tonight's been going, I'm ready for one of the most epic matches I've ever seen. So let's get these players going without further ado. I'm going to give them the single to start this up, and uh, we will be off very shortly. Looks like uh, both of these players are going to be playing on medium um, in this tournament. Uh, I, there is a rule where if latency is a potentially going to be an issue, but the players can agree to play on medium. So it looks like they've both elected to do so, uh, likely just due to Hibimoto being a Japanese player, uh, given the geographical distance between the two. Latency is an inevitable factor, even on a platform like Fightgate. So looks like they'll be playing on medium today, uh, but I don't think that's going to take away from the match we're about to see. No, I mean, you just have a little bit slight reduction in gravity. And oh, and an early combo from Snipe is going to block that column four off a little bit. But Hibimoto responds with a column four block of his own. Snipe able to get the tuck clear to lower the elevation here. But it is very early advantage for Snipe. As Snipe's going to get another combo. And he, oh, <laughs> he just saved Hibimoto's life with that garbage drop. And he's going to get three of his own in return. If that was any other color, we would be looking at one nil. Absolutely. And it, 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 a, a, a calculated risk maybe, but it almost didn't pay off. Luckily, uh, Hypimoto is going to stay in this match, and now Snipe is starting to look like his uh, center is starting to rise. Uh, he is going to get that red over just in time to make the L, and then get a T to clear out his center. Um, but a cross drop for Hypimoto is going to uh, send a triple back to Snipe. Um, both players, uh, you know, this is this is what we've come to expect. Both of these players playing expertly. Yeah, this is this is definitely just going to be throwing haymakers left and right. These two players both know their combo games well. They both are accomplished speed players in their own right. They know how to make this board work for them. They know how to get those good attacks in. We see a uh, big fat log up top, but it is going to take two viruses off the board for Hibimoto. And it is 45 to 42 here. Hibimoto's starting to play with a little bit healthier board left. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've noticed, but it looks like he's employing a strat that you may have seen before and even called mention to a little earlier. This is something that we've seen Hibimoto sort of pioneer. It's, it's the roof strat, as he calls it. But we're a little more familiar with it as the umbrella. Uh, not something that we see in every game, but I find that when these two play, if you've ever watched any of their online replays, uh, they tend... This is a strat they tend to go to. Um, ideally, you can get it on both sides, um, but uh, he's started to build it on the right, whereas Snipe is just gummed up at the center here. Um, I don't know if that roof was even necessary from Hibimoto, but uh, if Snipe can get out of this, uh, you might get to see this sort of uh, pioneering strat that, that Hibimoto is tr trying, I think, to make uh, an effective strategy, maybe even a, a shift in the metagame. It's been really interesting. We'll see if that comes into play here. Yeah, we, we've seen influx to it in live play, and uh, it, it's it, it may be beneficial to cover one side of the board because you've got open, you can basically open up that board, you're not going to have any garbage raining down on it, and you can kind of work the board in your favor here. Uh, the disadvantage is, is if you get into an end game, it can affect your end game uh, and maybe bury potential uh, game winning viruses. So we'll see how that goes here. But Hibimoto dropping a nice triple um, as Snipe has started to clean his board up. Up, but uh, Snipe needing access to blue. Not getting a lot of blue, but he is going to get a nice combo here and it turns it into a triple here. And again, you see that garbage just overriding itself uh, in column six and seven. But ooh, big big trouble here for Hippie Motto, and he's going to top out. 
they're right back at it going into game two. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't see uh, much of the roof strat there. Um, in our game five with, Pang uh, with Pangolin, Hibimoto did actually use the roof strat effectively. He was able to build it on both sides so as not to let any garbage fall uh, on any of his columns, save for the two center columns, which uh, is not easy. It's not as simple as just throwing pills down and hoping that it works. Uh, it does take a little calculation, but Hibimoto's really been working on making it a thing. Um, and now, looks like Snipe might be at risk of topping out here. His, his column five garbage, uh, four garbage, oh. excuse me, is is got him in danger of topping out here. It looks like he's gonna take it down one row here, but the garbage is gonna now cut off oh. his right left side, and at now he's he's locked into making some kind of horizontal situation. But it's not gonna be easy with the limited space he has here. Yeah, and Hibimoto again, um, uh, shielding. Uh, columns six through eight and snipe is running out of room. I think this is oh. gonna be game two So uh, we turn this into a best of three as we go on into our third game These players are gonna start with a double yellow and uh, They are not playing the same style board. It looks like snipe gonna have first blood here, but a uh, short stack as well from uh, Hibi motto is gonna turn things around and keep this a little bit competitive as uh, it is 58 to 58, sniping a bit of a problem here, but he's going to drop down some yellow and he's going to get a fork clear. It's going to be all yellows, and that's going to rain down a tough uh, situation for Hibi Motto. Hibi Motto is going to be uh, getting that L clear. He's going to drop two pieces down and snipe now cut off uh, on that left or that right side, but gets the clear. And now snipe kind of stealing a play out of Hibi Motto's book. Mm -hmm. I think that snipe has tried to sort of incorporate this play that Hibi Motto's come up with. I think they both believe that this is maybe something that you have to do in really high level against really high level opponents I'm not convinced myself to be completely honest but uh, we're, we're just gonna have to see uh, if this comes into play in this match because it uh, if PB model can get it out of this I think he's gonna be forced to do the same and uh, then we're gonna be entering a whole different type of game here I think yeah, it's a bit checkered on that board for Hibimoto at the top of this board. He is going to make clear. Doesn't have a lot in the way of combos, although if he gets a blue here, he'll have a little drop combo here and then a short stack. So uh, Snipe playing the double shield here. Uh, <laughs> this but is... as, as you see, that really cuts off any sort of combo opportunity. So you really have to play straight down the middle of the board. Man, this is the complete roof strat. This is what uh, these players have been aiming for. It's definitely risky. It certainly is something you have to learn how to play, but the benefit is that uh, outside of columns four and five, Snipe is going to receive no garbage in any other column. Uh, he has a 50% chance of receiving zero drop time on any combo as long as it doesn't fall into the center. Um, and uh, if PB Motto doesn't do the same in turn, coming to the end game, um, it can be a huge advantage. But we're gonna have to see if he can make it there because PB Motto is getting relentless with the combos, and they are falling in his center, and he is running with it, making sure to stun lock while he's still getting advantage. And it's a little—it's almost a little bit of a light show with these combos coming uh, on the top of the board here. It's kind of uh, aesthetically pleasing to watch here. Uh, but we are seeing Snipe starting to open up the board, uh, and he—he he does have access here, but uh, the combo game almost non-existent as he's just trying to uh, keep things nice and tidy, uh, as tidy as you can with the double umbrella like this. But Hebe Motto uh, is down by four viruses. He's going to get another combo. Excuse me, and uh, he's starting to umbrella his left yep, side. Yep, he's starting to respond in turn. But his center is really dangerous looking. It's going to be difficult to clear this column four garbage away. He's going to need to get some blues uh, and hopefully some ideal ones if he doesn't want to make any further garbage. He will get a double blue to clear that down. Um, but once he starts to clear things up, um, he might be looking to, to do the same and build onto the left si right side as soon as he finds an opportune moment where he won't be interrupted. And with these double umbrellas, you've got to make a critical decision at some point in your mid and end game when you want to drop these down, because you will eventually have to drop these down. Uh, you'll either have to underclear from bottom to top or just figure out a situation where it is appropriate to drop that garbage. But uh, Snipe holding on to a pretty tidy lead of viruses here. He's up by 10. Uh, as TV Motto, I think, eyeballing a, a T, he's going to get a triple here. It's not going to hurt Snipe too terribly much. He's just going to get one piece of garbage. Uh, but with the board elevation that low in the center, uh, it does take up a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. And this is the key of the strategy. Uh, he's not receiving any, almost any garbage. And what little garbage he receives is 
pretty trivial to clear up uh, in most cases. Um, so as long as he doesn't let his center get too high like this and he doesn't get too unlucky, he should be able to uh, to take full advantage and just build a slow, slow lead. It's going to take time to clear out the garbage, but he's going to be gaining so much time from not receiving any combo uh, drop time that... Uh, it, it really is going to even out as long as uh, as long as things don't get messy in the center for him. And I think Snipes making a cutoff point here uh, on that left side umbrella. Uh, he's looking, I think, for a vertical clear on the double blues in column one, uh, starting at starting at row two, going up to row three. So uh, he can kind of just use that yellow and uh, underclear that as a double. But Lev, he's going to have to start taking care of the center of the board, I think, a little bit more. And that's that's kind of one of the critical strats here is while you do let a limited garbage rain down, when it does come down that center of your board and you ignore it, uh, it buries those final viruses. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, it's still a coin flip and you can still uh, receive garbage. So if you get unlucky enough times, uh, you definitely start can start to pile up in the center. But it really is uh, just a matter of the odds here. Um, and Snipe is, uh, was looking very dangerous there for a moment with a misdrop, but he's now cleared things out. He has some viruses in columns one and eight. They're holding up the roof, so to speak. Um, and I think he's going to save them to the very end here um, before finally clearing them out. Uh, at the last possible moment so he can get this advantage for as long as he possibly can. And I think we're going to see a... No, we're not going to see the double stun lock. He had the free stun lock. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh, I'm seeing why he didn't because he would have had to drop that umbrella down. Exactly. That would, and he uh, wants to maintain it as long situation. as he can. <laughs> it was not worth it to drop that at that time. He's going to save that. I, we're not going to see those viruses clear until... Uh, those are going to be the last three viruses on his board, I can almost guarantee you. He'd be motto down to his final 20 viruses here, and I think he's spearing down here. And if I'm Hibi motto, I'm thinking it's going to be time to start firing, just setting up short double combos and get a stun lock here and just try to get this back in your favor. Mm -hmm. Another strategy he could implement is to prioritize triples just to get that uh, guaranteed center well garbage um, so that he won't uh, he won't be wasting his time on these empty combos that don't even get him any drop time or garbage on, on high snipes board. Unfortunately, there's a 50% chance any double he makes is going to do nothing. So triples might be the way to go here, but that takes time and he may not have that kind of time quads coming down that means one more piece of garbage here and it's going to go right on top of that red so uh now forcing uh snipe to have to work around that and uh snipe will work around that he's going to get a uh he's not he is going to get the horizontal he is going to get everything <laughs> off so he's just basically free and clear here it's now uh stunlock's huge if you're heavy motto because you need to absolutely slow down uh snipe mm -hmm. and there's not going to be anything more to block his way he's going to bring down the right side and this blue is is going to finish it out. A perfect roof strat executed by Snipe, and he is going to take the lead, and he is one game away of sending Hibimoto to losers. Yes, this roofing strat uh, for Snipe means he's just a shingle win away from taking this victory. <laughs> and uh, I'll accept any boos in chat. Uh, I am fine with that. Uh, it is 56 to 47 here, and I think I think uh, you're going to be electing when to go with the roof strat. I think both these players, I think, are just going to be electing to go for it at some point. But Hibimoto is uh, holding on to a lead here, and I think just trying to sniff out where he can combo and slow snipe down. Look at this drop here. That's going to be a double, a triple. Where is this going to go? And it is a quad, and oh! that's going to block Snipe off. Snipe could be in big trouble here. He is going to have Snipe to with a down. <laughs> clutch tuck. Wow, yeah. So this is, he's, he's definitely elected to do the roof very early, I would say. And this is sort of the risk, is that you when you do that, you do not have a lot of space remaining in your center, and it can lead to a situation like this, where Hibimoto's really cornered him now at the top yeah. of the screen. He Snipe's is going to make a little room here, but I don't know if this is going to be enough. He may be forced to take this roof down. Yeah, there might be a remodel here as two more uh, yellow pieces come down and one of them is going to come down in that center well. And, uh, oh, a big fortuitous double yellow uh, just blitz here. But both these players obviously getting the same uh, sequence here. And Snipe has managed to avert disaster, uh, but is down by nine viruses here. Hibi Motto is just continuing to lay it on, though. He's going to drop down more center well garbage. And uh, I think signaling here that he, oh, oh, that yellow garbage in column three, gonna 
block uh, any sort of combo opportunities here. But, wow. Uh, he, he'd be still going to make something out of it. Yeah, he responds just perfectly, and uh, he's going to now make a huge oh. quad out of that messed up setup. He's going to make uh, Ritz's from Rags here. A quad plus combo. I think there were six clears in that sequence, but the game only allows you four. Uh, but you could only imagine if somebody was going for eight combos and just raining down an entire row of garbage. But it's not to be here, as uh, Hibi Mato's uh, center board, center column is starting to look a little bit precarious. But he is working through it here and uh, going to get the uh, blue garbage, or rather the red garbage, to drop. Uh, not a lot of use for blue red. He's going to get this uh, clear and combo interrupted, but he's going to get a drill combo down to 29. And unfortunately. Uh... This it doesn't look like Hibimoto is going to elect to go for the roof this time, and I think it's just because if you look on Snipe's board and his column eight, it's fully filled all the way to the top, which means it's impossible to establish uh, an umbrella on that side now. Um, so Snipe will have that on the left, but it's not going to be nearly as effective, and I think Hibimoto is just going to prefer to take the open space and the combo potential that it brings. So uh, we'll see if things change as this game progresses, but uh, this is looking very good for Hibimoto. Motto is just going to try to pin down some doubles here, um, and he, he I, looking maybe for a red blue. He is going to get it, but can he tuck it around? This is going to be a very wow. critical play, and he does get it. That's going to be a quad for Snipe, and Snipe now in big trouble. He's essentially cut off from his left side of the board until he can get things moved down, and he will. But that was a really scary moment there for Snipe. And here comes Hibi Motto. Hibi Motto's going to get a double. Where are these going to fall? They're going to fall right into column four, and another one. That might be it. Snipe's got to try to find a way to figure out and he won't and we're going to a decider oh my goodness this is intense again is this going to be another reverse sweep i can't believe it we're going to see what happens here and uh snipe's going to get a uh triple here and he has some blue clear setup as well but eb motto also has some stuff ready to go both these players attacking the center column snipe is going to drop down he is going to get a double as well and Hebe Motto has an interesting board here. He can definitely set up a big L, and he will. Uh, <laughs> if he gets that red-yellow, he can really drop four down here, and he needs to. He needs to do something yes! quick. He is going to tuck it over. He is going to get it. Boom, big combo there. But he's got to get that column five nailed down. Absolutely, yeah. That was an amazing quad setup, but now he has to uh, deal with this column five spire. Although if he does, um, then this if he can clear that out, his board's going to be looking very healthy. Uh, so it looks like he's going for some kind of horizontal. Yep, uh, it doesn't clear anything quite down. Maybe a yellow T is in his future here to bring this down a little further. Yeah, it looks like he is going to do that. And uh, wow, he's really going to push it. But the red garbage is going to oh, block him off. Oh, the red garbage. Oh, no. He's but he'll find, a, get a quad he'll find a quad somehow. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely scary when you're making a combo at that elevation and it you just see that one piece of garbage get in the spot you need uh, it almost feels like sometimes the game does it just on purpose but uh it is a, another short stack coming down and a, these two are going to be trading double combos a, a horizontal garbage clear uh for hibi motto as hibi motto is oh, blue yellow is what he is looking for here and he is not going to get it but he's still going to get a good combo here and he's going to get a nice uh short uh, tight triple there and uh could also uh that garbage kind of irrelevant he's just looking for a blue here to really start firing things off and he is going to get his blue he's going to get a triple as things start ready now no he wasn't going to get the virus though as uh that column four starting to get stacked up pretty high Hmm. Interestingly, neither player opting to try to build any roofs. This is definitely looking like a, a much more honest game of Dr. Mario that we might be used to. Interesting that maybe neither player is willing to take that sort of a risk in a game five situation. That's possibly uh, part of the part of the reason. But uh, yeah, I'm wondering if either player will go for it here. And uh, uh, if not, I, I'm excited to see what strat they are going to take. They may opt for the umbrella perhaps later on. I think it's just survival here. Both players have been very close to topping out. And uh, I think we're just trying to get combos. It's really just more of slowing the other player down here. 
as uh, it's going to be a bit of a combo interruption there. And then with the second bit, absolutely cutting off that horizontal play. Really well done by Hibimato. Snipe down to 22 viruses. It is 26 for Hibimato. Is Hibimato going to get another double? And here he comes. Hibimato on the big attack here, looking to put this one away. And uh, he is setting up combos on combos here. He's going to get a... Uh, He's not going to get a combo there, but this garbage will drop a combo down. And uh, it looks like a triple as well, or a double for Snipe. Uh, 19 to 25 here. And Lev, I'm looking at this uh, these boards here, and it is definitely a managed Snipe. Absolutely. It was looking really scary for Snipe for a little while, but he's really managed to bring things back here. Now, uh, column 7 and 8 for Hibimato looking very high. Uh, he's unable to get, gonna be unable to attempt a roost on that side, definitely. Um, but it doesn't look like he's interested in doing so anyway. He's uh, continuing to combo. He's finding horizontals. Uh, um, and uh, both players, 19 to 24 in virus count, uh, but honestly, while the board health looks scary from Hibimato, not insurmountable, but it might be if this garbage continues, he's very close to the top of the board, gonna get some additional drop time there, but columns four and five are very much in danger. This double is going to turn into a triple and bring things down, keeping Hibi in this game, but I don't know how much longer because Snipe is looking very good. 17 viruses remaining, looking well into his end game. Uh, he is poised to, to strike here. He's going to get another triple, um, or rather a double here, and it's, yeah, the garbage is piling on here, but Hibimato making things work, and uh, I think he maybe was hoping that yellow-blue could have come one pill sooner, but he's still going to get combos here, and now with this lower board elevation, that stunlock game is going to be huge. Uh, you can definitely take your opponent out here if you just are having great consecutive combo setups. We're starting to see that here from Hibimato. That red garbage is very fortuitous for him, and but he Oh, wow. got to make a decision quick because this board is starting to stack up and he is going to get some <laughs> clears and oh my goodness look at this absolutely just dissecting that board mm -hmm. he held out to the very end and uh, honestly the i don't think i've ever seen a player take a risk quite like that maybe he was just demanded in the moment given how far behind he is um but uh wow just incredible play from pb motto uh but snipe is looking very clean nine viruses remaining now uh Endgame looking almost inevitable at this point. Uh, he's going to clear out his center. He, he's going to need reds uh, primarily to expose anything else, but he has some yellow and blue on the side here. Um, still continuing to set up combos. Hibimato's going to need a big stun lock here, and he is capable of it, but he's got to do it right now, and it looks like he is beginning to do so. <laughs> with that triple, but he's got to be careful what he selects because if he goes for a triple and there's a red involved in there, he could help out and have a combo drop right back at him, and that could put Snipe right back in this. It is 9 to 22 here, uh, but here come the combos, and they keep coming down uh, from Hibimato. Is Hibimato really just looking to stay in this game? He doesn't. He hasn't cleared a virus in quite some time, but this is what I was talking about, Lev. That oh. red garbage that came down really just opened the board back up, and now it's a little bit of a slowdown here for Hibimato and but Hibimato had a combo prepared I think just in case as uh the stun locking continues he's got to do it it's it's it, it's necessary at this point is the word I'm looking for uh and he's going to continue to do so he, he he just cannot give snipe any more time this is it he is at the bottom of his board and if he doesn't fill it up with garbage soon uh he's uh it's it's not it's going to be over not only that but he's got to contend with the fact that his pill speed is getting very fast and it's going to call the and top he... out yeah it's that it's that delicate razor balance that you've got to have when that speed goes up uh maintaining those combos at a top line uh when you're down and forcing that stun lock but it is game and match for snipe and snipe will advance to the championship he is going to move on to the our grand finals um hebe motto is gonna have to take out our losers other losers finalist perula if he wants the run back and not only that but he will have to win two matches Two matches like that, I can't even imagine. But we'll have to see if he gets there first. Just not, we're not, no one's counting Peru out yet. We're going to see them play next, and I can't imagine it won't be another banger. We will be back very soon. Stay tuned, everybody.